What is the difference between a bison and a buffalo? <sighs> okay, question one. Which teammate would be your go-to beach partner? Uh, so Zach Jansen has a great body, so does Jack Mandrick, and so does Owen. But only one of them actually swings in beach, and it's Jack. So always Jack. Always go Jack. Yeah. Good answer. You know, I'd probably have to say you, just because we do have that chemistry. I might have to go with Drew. Drew's like one of our rookies, and he's pretty un unpredictable. Uh, Machu. Owen. Oh, but Machu runs everywhere. Well, my beach partner is Jack Mandrick, so I would go Jack Mandrick still. Owen Schwartz. Great ball control. Fun to play with in the sand. Question two, what's your must-do pre-game ritual? Always at least 40 milligrams of caffeine, minimum. I like to chug a monster right before we play. Sound of silence in the team room with all the lights off. You could say that you drive an hour from Selkirk? Yes. That's his pre-game ritual. That's my pre Drives one hour. I would say the meal is very important. Uh, I like to have about two packs of ramen noodles, maybe some like shrimp or chicken in it. Question three, who is the loudest in the locker room? Yikes, it's probably me, but I don't know it. Either you or Ted, maybe Jack. Isaac. Isaac too, yeah, <laughs> Isaac is quite loud. Isaac. Mathieu Lavois. Frenchie, very loud, very loud. I don't know, probably Ted. <laughs> Ted probably goes pretty nuts in the team room. I would say Ted. He no. screams a lot. Mathieu, he screams all the time. Question four, which teammate thinks they could play another sport? Oh. <laughs> Thinks they can? I love this question. Everyone. <laughs> Everyone. Zach thinks he could play every sport. Zach would think he could play another sport. But I feel like he's just like a volleyball guy, you know? Zach Jansen? Zach thinks he can play them all. Is he good? He'll tell you that. Well, I don't want to brag about myself, oh, but good. I'm a pretty good basketball player. Three-point shooter, dunking, do it all, right? Number five, who's the best trash talker on the team? Ooh, it's probably Owen. Subtle. I don't do it much, but when I do... Yeah. You probably do it the most, you're probably not the best though. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> not Chris. I'll not. just say not Chris. Yeah. Ted. Definitely Ted. Ted. I'd have to go with Ted again. Talks trash to our team. Number six, who's the most active on social media? Oh. I'd say it depends on the app. We don't follow them, so we don't know. Number two, Isaac Fast. Yeah, most by far. Not even close. <laughs> like, oh. who's, the, who's the biggest influencer? Isaac. Isaac Fast. Amir. Yeah, I'd, Amir I'd have to agree with you there. I would say Amir, but he always deletes the apps when he's studying, so. I'm pretty good when it's in the off season. I'm not doing schoolwork. Question seven, best and worst dancer on the team? Best, oh, the worst dancer is? There's a lot of them. Yeah. A lot of bad dancers on our <laughs> team. We haven't really danced much. Jack, Jack would be Isaac. the best. Jack. Jack would, Wait, be no, Jack would be the worst. Worst dancer, Zach. Zach and Jack are not good dancers. Zach, by a lot. I would probably say Owen is the best dancer. Yeah, he's coordinated. <laughs> Owen or Matt Campbell probably can move really good. I'm gonna have to give the best to Ted. Me or Ted. And best, I would say probably Isaac. Isaac. Okay, Isaac's the best. Number eight, what three teammates are you sticking with in an apocalypse? Three, okay, Owen, Jack, and... Zach, because he'd get eaten first and we'd all survive. Jack, we both came from rural areas, so we're uh, very used to natural natural areas. John, he's a human Swiss Army knife. And then I would, I would take Teddy. Ted, number one, that guy just does everything, a little bit of everything. Jack, because that guy can survive on like an apple a day. I take you, John, just because right, I like thanks, you. Buddy. Company. Brendan Warren and yourself, actually. I'd probably choose Ted over me. Zabrinski, because he's the coolest guy. Chris, one of our rookies, because his chance of survival is the absolute highest. And John Love, because he's my favorite teammate. And Ben's like the fourth, like, honorary mention. Ben, because he's tall. Number nine, what is your cell phone wallpaper? It's the Windows 98 background with like Internet Explorer and trash bin. And it says like window, it has like the Windows 98 flag, old flag. And it's supposed to look like my phone r operates on Windows 98, but it doesn't. It's very unique. Me and my girlfriend. boy. Mine's my dog. The skyline of New York City because I've always wanted to go there. So basic. It is. Default. Bonus question. Okay, this is do or die. What is the difference between a bison and a buffalo? <sighs> Ted would yeah. know something like that. He knows but. random information. Yikes. The difference is we have a picture of a buffalo in our <laughs> living room, but we call it a bison. One of them has a horn, maybe? <laughs> oh, no, I got this. Bison's our mascot. Bison are native to North America, and buffalo are native to Africa so and Asia. That you know that. Thanks, guys, for coming to our interview today and learning more about men's volleyball. Come to Nationals because you can watch us do our work. <laughs> Come see uh, me and Jack on the court at Nationals from March 13th to 16th. Or is it 15th?
come along support. It's going to be pretty crazy. Stands are going to be packed. Is it going to be cutting 13, in this? 13 to 15. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you can see some sick volleyball. The guys are great. 13 to 15. Oh, okay. Yeah. See you guys then. Once in a lifetime, so make sure you come out and watch. It's going to be some good, good volleyball. We'll see you at nationals. Bye-bye. See you later.